Hi, this is Andy from Reco Magic UK, back again to talk about our latest thing. Uh, we've been working on this uh, over the last few weeks. Um, very, very small netbook, basically, um, and it's, it's based on the all-winner A10 processor, uh, so quite interesting. Um, it runs at 1 gigahertz, and it's got 1 gig of RAM, a uh, very, very sort of small form factor. We've got power supply um, socket on the end, three USBs, audio in, audio out. We've got um, an Ethernet connector on the side there as well. It ships with Android as standard, uh, but we've been working with the manufacturer to try and port uh, more of a desktop OS uh, to it in the form of um, Linux and Ubuntu. So here we go. We open up the uh, device here. We've got a 1024 by a 600 um, screen and you know fairly sort of standard keyboard there. And uh, trackpad with you know a standard kind of trackpad. It's not, it's not bad. Build quality is okay. You know it's it's not the best in the world, but we're sort of you know looking at this and trying to um, improve it. We're very interested in the ARM netbook, um, you know kind of, kind of thing at the moment. So this is this is where we're heading. So what we've seen here is um, this little netbook, which has just basically come back from a suspend state um, into uh, Ubuntu. So Ubuntu 12.04. Uh, we're just going to log in to that there, and as you can see, we come straight through to the straight through to the desktop there. It's actually reasonably, it's fairly reasonably quick actually, um, considering this is running the full uh, full version of uh, you know the Unity desktop, everything um, running running on here. So you know it's not a lightweight version um, by all means. But we've been um, we've been playing around with this to try and get this to run um, on this device because we feel that. You know, it's quite an interesting uh, time for ARM computing. Anyway, so, you know, you can basically kind of see that, you know, wireless is connected there. Um, we're all sort of logged in. Everything's going. Um, we've got a Chromium web browser open there, which we can, uh, you know, view around. So you can see, you know, page rendering on there. You know, it's not bad. At this point, there's no hardware acceleration uh, on this. So, you know, this is just purely done by the, by the processor itself, which is, you know, not really that bad. We've got a few tabs open, so you can see different tabs um, open on the uh, Chromium browser. We, again, we, we think Chromium is probably the best browser, really, um, for use on this at the moment because obviously it allows, you know, allows video playback. Not that the device can really do it properly without the um, sort of hardware acceleration, but um, you know, it, the page renders are very quick on on Chromium. So you know, you can see. You can see the video. It's a little bit choppy, um, but you know it, it's probably not watchable. But you know it's just to show that, that it can be done. Show that we've got a few tabs open as well. So video is playing there, and we can stop that. Stop that video there. Um, you can hear obviously the click on the uh, trackpad. We're trying to iron that out, make that a little bit smoother because you know it's a bit bit loud. Um, <laughs> we just want to just kind of get that. Better, but you can just use the tap on the uh, on the touchpad itself just to just to get that. So you can see there, you know, another page, another page sort of already open, um, that kind of thing. And then we can go on to one of our other sites, our favourite sites that we we visit. Um, so yeah, it's you know it kind of works works fairly well um, within Chromium browser. We've done, done a few experiments. Different people have just been using it um, just to see how they get on with the browser in the normal experience. Nobody's really complained too much, um, <laughs> just as a general sort of test, and uh, that kind of works well. So we can get out there, just minimise the uh, minimise that window. Um, you've got obviously the the, the sort of um, Unity Dash um, panel there, which shows shows everything. So you can see that kind of uh, kind of caught, caught the edge of the the thing there. Uh, but uh, you know, basically just showing all the applications and stuff that have been installed. Um, obviously, being Ubuntu with um, the uh, software center, um, you can install all of the kind of ARM specific apps on there, which which is quite nice. So you know, again, Ubuntu software center showing there um, with all the other all the things you can do there. Um, what else we've got? So sort of system monitor, obviously just showing showing there. You know, you can see CPUs running probably at the moment it's kind of fifty percent upwards. So you know it's it's uh, it's definitely pushing the pushing the limits of the of the hardware, but you know it's it's not running too badly. Um, so we can go out of this. We can obviously open up a uh, you know open up a file manager, you know reasonably reasonably quick. Get out there, and um, 
we can go into something like the office just to show you you know how it, how it generally works LibreOffice open up there I mean again this is running from an SD card so bear in mind that it's disk speed which is obviously causing the slowdown um, that we, we're sort of seeing here and um, so you know we can open a text document uh, try and sort of show you know normal normal usage is that opening up but yeah as you can see it's um you know certain things take a little while to to sort of load up but um you know it's not it's not that bad it's pretty good um other little things that we're trying to iron out at the moment are power um the power management you can see at the moment the battery uh, indicator is just showing as basically you know a red um battery symbol there which is not correct because we're probably about I don't know, 20% charged or 30% charged or something like that. When you plug in the power supply, you get the um, you get the the the, uh, the the actual percentage show. But at the moment, the uh, system just needs to be reconfigured to to um, to show that properly. So certain things, certain things there. You know, we've got a few different um, few different tabs, few different browser windows open, and uh, you know, a few different pieces of software that are running at the moment. Um, and we can just push the button, power button, and we can you know go to a suspend state and um, after about probably about 20 seconds it will just sh kind of suspend and shut down wireless um, indicator you see the the blue one there that just powers down and generally battery life you know I think you're looking at something about around about six hours with the standard battery um, but that seems to be six hours of use whether it's in standby or um, or kind of all running <laughs> so you know there's some probably some power management tweaks that we can do to to um, you know improve that but uh, there you go so basically this is a the small um, all in a A10 netbook we've been working on um, we'll probably be offering it soon as a product when we feel that it's actually kind of ready for um, you know ready for ready for sale and again it's probably more for for, for the kind of development um, centric type people that want to want to do that stuff with the uh, all in i10 it's a development pro project um, anyone that wants to get involved come over to the forums um, rico magic uk uh, rico magic dot uk forward slash forum um, and you can sort of join in join in the conversation on that we'd love to have you over there uh, any developers want to get involved uh, it's quite an interesting project um, one of the very sort of few arm netbooks that are around at the moment and um, of course, we've got to mention it also runs Android full, fully fledged, and we'll do another video showing that um, hardware video decode and everything like that is, is runs perfectly um, on that. So, you know, this is just to show a desktop operating system running on very very slim hardware. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's um, that's where it is, and um, we'll look forward to seeing you over the over on the forum. Thanks for watching.